Uh, we're still waiting for an official number of those killed. Rescue officials say at least eight people were taken to local hospital hospitals with injuries. We have a live look at the scene right now in Sweetwater, Florida. You could see crews are still going over that wreckage, the debris of that bridge in the middle of the highway there. Eight cars said to be trapped underneath the bridge. Uh, some of them uh, made it halfway out, it looked like. A lot of them, most of those trap cars are completely covered. Crews are using dogs right now to help them find victims in the debris. Crushed under hundreds of tons of concrete, eight cars said to be trapped under the pedestrian bridge on the Florida International University campus. Rescue workers scrambling to help those they could reach. The moments after the collapse, captured on video and shared on social media. Smoke oh over God. people. There's two cars under there. May God bless everyone. Oh, oh my God. God. The $14 million bridge was still under construction. This time-lapse video from just last Saturday showed crews installing the 950-ton span. The bridge wasn't expected to open to foot traffic until early next year, so it's doubtful any pedestrians were on top of the bridge when it collapsed. But there was plenty of afternoon traffic on the busy seven-lane highway beneath it. It felt as if there was an earthquake, so me and my roommate jumped up and looked outside. And as soon as I looked outside, I saw dust um, flying everywhere, and I knew that the bridge had collapsed. The cause of the collapse still unknown. University officials had said an accelerated bridge construction method was used, the goal being reduced risks to workers and pedestrians and less traffic disruption. Now, the main companies behind the bridge's construction have faced questions about their work in the past. One of the companies was fined in 2012 when a 90-ton section of a bridge collapsed in Virginia. And we've just learned that the engineering company was conducting a stress test this morning on that bridge.